Hi everyone! Hello my beautiful creatives! Welcome back to my little corner of the internet where interior design meets personal empowerment. Um, if you don't know me, hello! My name is Asha Wynn. I'm an interior designer that helps female entrepreneurs elevate their spaces and elevate themselves through intentional interior design. So this month I've decided to do a series of videos um, discussing authenticity and how you can show up authentically in your home and in your business, in your home design. So congrats girl, you have made it to the first video and let's get started. In this video, I'm going to discuss authenticity and why it matters. So let's start out with defining the term authentic. Um, it refers to something that is genuine, that is real, that is true to its origin or nature. So when I am using authenticity in this video and throughout the series, I'm referring to your true nature, to your truth, um, what is truthful for you and how you are being truthful in your day-to-day -day life and truthful to yourself. Authenticity also means being open and transparent about um, not only your strengths, but your weaknesses and uh, your true emotions about things and um, the sides of you that you are maybe not wanting to project out into the world, your motivations. Um, so part of being authentic means being willing to show vulnerability. Let's expand on this concept for a moment, or I guess even further, right? So getting to know more about me, um, I love the woo and what I do. So I believe that each person on the planet, each being on the planet, animal kingdom, plant kingdom, they all have a unique expression of source consciousness, which means each human, you, me, my bestie, my sisters, you know, some person, you know, living in India, we are all energetic beings that come with a unique energetic signature. And this signature comes with unique desires, unique needs, unique abilities, unique challenges, of course, unique vulnerabilities, of course, unique gifts, um, etc. It goes on and on. For some of us, being attuned to our authenticity and our unique energetic signature, it comes naturally. Um, but for a lot of us, myself included, it's more of a journey of rediscovering because instead of being raised in a society where it's an unfolding process, right, where we come into earth and where this little pearl, maybe this is an analogy, little pearl in a blossom where there's this unfolding where we have a society or parents or a family that supports that and supports our unique desires, our energetic signature, we're actually raised in a molding process, a society that places on us a structure of what is okay and what is not okay. And so we learn the parts of us that are accepted by our family or from our friends or from our society and what's expected from our society, etc. And we put those parts of us out into the world. And what we may not put out there out into the world are the parts of us that um, either we want to keep sacred or we fear that they won't be accepted or, um, you know, they're parts of us that we may not like or are hiding. Um, so this process of being authentic, right, it's a process of being able to be willing to be vulnerable because you are showing up in your life as your whole self, the good and the bad, the light and the dark, and doing that in a way which takes tremendous confidence and courage for sure, um, where you're showing up in your life regardless of what society, what your family, what others, the outside world will think of you. and. Generally, this is the process of becoming um, authentic. The initial step towards embracing your authentic self and begin living authentically in your life, it starts with self-awareness. And I think everything starts with self-awareness. It's understanding who you are and your values, your emotions. Um, understanding your emotions is a whole other topic, but um, it's understanding your weaknesses. It's understanding your unique desires um, that make up your energetic signature. 
One of my favorite tools um, for developing self-awareness is asking yourself introspective questions to gain clarity. And my favorite question to ask people or myself when I'm having a little bit of doubt or need or feel a little misdirected in my business or in my life or what I need to do is the question, what brings me joy or what lights me up? Um, because this question goes straight to the core. Joy is an emotion and a feeling that is directly tied to manifestation and connected to universal energy or the divine consciousness. So when we're experiencing joy, we can tap into the abundance of the universe and align with a higher spiritual frequency. Um, joy is the connection to our light and um, it's basically a, a guiding light to know or to put ourselves on an alignment path. So identifying what lights you up, what is joyful for you is a genuine desire that is directly tied to your unique signature. Other questions you can ask yourself is, what are your core values? Um, what are you passionate about? Um, what are your weaknesses? What are things you hate? Um, how do you like to serve others? There are a plethora of questions, introspective questions um, that you can ask yourself to start really getting clarity on your own unique personal preferences, desires, and yeah, just getting to know your authentic self. So why is authenticity so important in getting to know yourself authentically? Um, it's because it's getting clarity on the aspects that empower you to build a life that aligns with your joy and your unique path and your unique gifts. And it empowers you to start living a life that aligns with what you want and your purpose and experiencing the freedom uh, which is what I'm here for, um, the freedom that comes from living authentically. This is wrapping up today's first video of the series. So let's do a quick recap because it's going to be the foundation for the next um, video. So authenticity refers to being true to yourself. This also includes you being vulnerable and being willing to show those vulnerabilities regardless of your exterior world. So um, your weaknesses. <laughs> Authenticity includes knowing your unique energetic signature, which is your unique desires and needs, abilities, your gifts, your challenges. Um, and embracing authenticity starts with self-awareness. And there are some tools that you can do to start really understanding what um, it is that you really do desire and your emotions and um, what makes up your energetic signature. And then lastly, living authentically leads to freedom and fulfillment. All right, everyone, you beautiful souls, you beautiful, beautiful creatives. I am so grateful for you. I am so grateful for everybody that is sending positive vibes and messages on my chat. <laughs> Excuse me, on my channel. It means so much to me to keep on going and to keep on um, sharing what I love, which is interior design and self-improvement and self-empowerment. Um, and until next time, I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day and stay curious and stay creative. Bye.